Hi everyone, it's Budget Bunny here. I'm just hanging out in the spare room where I stash all my Christmas prezzies. And I thought since Christmas is only a few days away, I would show you everything that I got for the critters. As you guys know, we really have a full house here and everyone gets spoiled rotten at Christmas time. So I thought I would show you everything that I've bought. So I'll start here with the cats. The cats are going to get this little fish. I guess it's kind of like a stocking and it's got a whole bunch of different toys in it. Um, now I got this at Walmart and I think it was about $8. I also got them this. They really don't need any of these toys, but I just wanted to spoil them. So there's lots of more little bells in there. And this actually folds out into a big tunnel for them. And as soon as I brought my bags home, Callie could hear everything like jingling inside it and she was trying to get in the bag. So I had to seal the bags, tied them shut because nobody's getting their presents until Christmas Day. And next I'll show you what we got for the dogs. So for the dogs, I got them some of these pork hide wrapped with chicken. Um, they look kind of like a bone that they can eat. Um, my big thing is that they can't really have wheat in them, so I have to read all of my packages because Murray is allergic to wheat. Genevieve has a really sensitive stomach, so the less ingredients, the better. Um, I got these meaty treat bone little treats for them, and these are made from turkey. And then I got them the no wheat formula jerky treats, and this was on sale for, I think, $7.00. It's a pretty big um, bag or pretty big container. It's 1.58 kilograms and I don't usually give them a whole jerk yet once they get pieces of it. So um, we've got plenty of treats to last them um, months <laughs> at least. Um, they also at the pet show in the spring we had bought them the naturally shed antlers. Um, they're a great chew toy and what I like about them for your dog is that they're not greasy like we used to get those big giant bones um I called them dinosaur bones but they're like probably like half of a leg of a cow and I know this sounds really gross um but dogs love it um, the problem is they're so greasy that they would kind of bother Genevieve's stomach um, and then of course the first thing they want to do is bring them on the couch and gnaw on them on the couch or they'll do that when you're not home and it can wreck your couch because all that grease and oil and stuff gets on your couch. So these naturally shed antlers are a great alternative um, because they last a really long time. That was the other thing, those, um, those dinosaur, the dinosaur bones as I call them. They were about $20 and would last our dogs maybe a week or two. We bought these at the pet show. Now I think the ones we got were just a little bit bigger than this. And they were about the same price, $19.99. And um, they, they've lasted since April. Like we just threw out, there was only about this much left of the last one. So we threw it out just because at that point it kind of becomes a choking hazard with our dogs. So um, we decided to get them new ones for Christmas. So they're actually going to get these today because they're great when they want to chew. Instead of trying to chew your furniture or... I've noticed Genevieve since, you know, the last antlers gotten really small has started carrying around my pillows everywhere and um, sucking on the ends of them. So they're going to get these today so that, you know, I hope that when I'm visiting family and stuff, I don't come home and uh, the tree skirts and pieces or something like that. Uh, but if anyone is wondering about these, these are awesome. They're worth the money. They last a long time. Your dog shouldn't have any kind of indigestion problems like they could have with other treats and I really highly recommend them. So sorry I should tell you guys um the big treats the containers of treats those were all from Walmart. The elk antlers were from Paws and Claws and I also got this at Paws and Claws and it's called the Dog Tornado. It's a fun interactive game for your dogs and basically I'll show you. So 
it's got all these different levels that slide. So you're, you put the treats inside and your dog has to figure out how to open it to get the treats out. They had all different ones. It was really tempting to buy a whole bunch of them, but they were kind of pricey. Um, and so I got the one that I thought would be the easiest for our dogs to figure out because I'm not sure how that game's going to go. Genevieve can be pretty frantic and I have a feeling she might just try to destroy the whole thing, whereas Murray might try to learn. So that'll be interesting to see what they think of that. Um, so the other things that I got at Paws and Claws were these toys for Ella. Ella absolutely loves bells and she only has like one in her cage so I thought I would hang this up and then it's got three for her to play with and she also likes to scratch her head on the top right here. Yeah I guess because it's nice and hard but it I mean it wouldn't hurt her. She likes to sit there and move her head underneath it and then she nibbles at them so um, the other one I got because she loves mirrors is this one here and she lo loves playing with the mirrors that flip and this one also has little bells on it and then I knew she would love this one and I thought this was a really good price it's $12.99 um, surprise box and it's just all different little pieces of kind of confettied paper and little boxes for her to chew apart and I know she's going to love this one and bird toys especially things like this can be very expensive so that was I thought a pretty good price um so that was paws and claws as well and I do find that the majority of their bird toys are better priced than other shops in my area and finally um now on to what the guinea pigs and rabbits are getting now a lot of toys and things for guinea pigs and rabbits are kind of interchangeable so these are going to kind of um, be for both um, the guinea pigs and the rabbits. So I was really excited when I was at PJ's Pets and Pickering and they had the Teach and Treat. I haven't been able to find this in any store in my city and um, it was only $20 which I also thought was really good because I considered buying it online just because I really wanted it and um, it was going to be like 40 bucks plus shipping. So I'm really glad that I came upon it there. And again, it's an interactive toy. It's a fun way to teach your small pet to search for treats. And basically, I think there's like three different levels of it. So they have to learn to like pick up this to get their treat. There's one where there's like a full um, plastic coating that they have to move to get the treat and I believe there's a third game in like built into here that I I haven't um, seen how to do that one yet but um, I just thought it'd be really fun for them so I was really excited that I found it and hopefully they will enjoy it as well I think Ollie will be really good at it because he loves treats he loves food so and the guinea pigs are pretty they're pretty much little piggies so I think they'll like it too. I also got the guinea pigs this little nylon tunnel and I got this will probably be for the guinea pigs again because I don't it's not big enough for my rabbits to go through um, even though it's the large but it's the KT tuba hay and um, so it's like a cardboard tunnel but it's filled with yummy hay with um, like the dried marigolds and things in it. So I'll probably mix up the hay and give it to all the pets, but I'll give the tube to the guinea pigs. And finally, oh, my package just arrived from MontrealCritters.com. So I've ordered things from them before. They're based out of, I'm assuming Montreal, Quebec. And um, they have a great pet selection. They have a lot of things that um, the Binky Bunny has. It's very comparable to Binky Bunny in the U.S. But unlike Binky Bunny for us Canadians, you don't have to pay a ton of shipping to send it over the border. Um, my Maze Haven and my Tunnel Haven, which you guys have probably seen in previous videos, especially the outdoor videos because they are kind of large items, so I usually put them, keep them like to outdoor playtime. Um, those both came from Montreal Critters because they were about the same price that Binky Bunny did, but instead of doubling my shipping to send them over the border, Montreal Critters has flat rate shipping for $9.99. So they also had some great holiday deals for your pets. 
and I decided to spoil the rabbits and guinea pigs. So just give me a second and I'll open this. I cannot put my name on there. So what I got was the holiday set, which was $18.99, and the rectangular toy basket filled with goodies for $30.99. Both of those were at least $10 off, I believe. Um, so either way, the way that I looked at it here, I paid a total of $67.77 with the $9.99 shipping. This would have cost at least $9.99 to ship anyways, because I do ship in Canada um, every so often. So this box probably would have cost that anyways, and I did save quite a bit of money by ordering them while they're on sale. So basically what I got them was a whole bunch of Willow toys. So they're... Oh, and actually these ones come from Busy Bunny. So I think Busy Bunny is in California. It's based in California. It's an online shop as well. They also have tons of great natural treats. It's just the shipping. Like, if it wasn't for the shipping, I would buy from those kind of places in a second. But it's great that we have places like Montreal Critters now. Bobby's Bunny Boutique is really good as well for UK stuff. They're now carrying UK things. I haven't bought anything from them, um, but I'm hoping to eventually. Let's see. Lots of good stuff in here. And they were really helpful too on the website. There was an issue with um, what I had ordered. I guess the description didn't actually match the product. They had made an error on the site. So she emailed me with other options. So she said I could build a custom basket for the inconvenience. And in the end, I paid a few more dollars just to get more stuff I didn't really mind so there's lots of things here so I've got um, all different willow balls there's small and large willow balls a seagrass basket there's a couple of these little stars the willow stars um, the little candy canes um, some swirly balls which is great because my rabbits have pretty much finished the one that I had um, there's more of these, another like a nice willow basket to keep everything in, um, and a big ring as well. Hmm. Oh, here they are. I was going to say, there should have been more rings. Uh, there's a little ring too. But yeah, so I got these all for the rabbits and the guinea pigs because they absolutely love willow and I thought it's Christmas time and they need to be spoiled so anyways guys I'm getting pretty close to my cutoff of 15 minutes and I hope that all your pets get lots of goodies this Christmas as well and that you guys are having a great holiday season bye Ollie just flopped. How cute is that? So cute.